Rhyme the writer to we. What up, everyone? I'm Eli from That's So Eli, where every week I find something to Disney DIY to bring a little Disney into your life over there. And then this week we have a little Disney ma- Wait, would it be this way? So you may be asking yourself, this is not the Disney wand that people use. Well, that's not a wand. It's a spoon. So in this week's DIY, we'll be making Ratatouille inspired wooden spoons with Ratatouille and the phrase, anyone can cook. But let's not dilly dally anymore because just like Colette, we have time to do, we have things to do. So let's get started. And this hurts. It does. So let's get started in this video. But just in case if you like this kind of Disney content, then feel free to subscribe down below. So I, don't, I think it's, yeah, there. So in a wooden spoon DIY, the first thing you need is wooden spoons. And obviously they're good for playing music and drums and any of that acousticalness. We won't be using for that. But the next thing you'll need is some brown and white paint. Um, you can use any kind of color, but I guess this will help the have the kind of like stained wood effect and some disturbingly sounding water. Be little nasty! To be honest here, um, you want the water to be diluted. If it looks just like this and as if you can still see like kind of like any strokes or like it seems patchy. Um, oh, also, by the way, I was, in, I was watching the Lion King movie while watching this very iconic and very sad hey punga not in front of the kids oh sorry mufasa will live forever um that if the water is too concentrated or sorry if the paint is too concentrated and not enough water then you just end up painting the stick and not actually seeing the texture and the grain of it so you, it's really important that you get that kind of like ratio worked out it's better to have more water than less um so you can definitely add upon more but once you kind of paint it you can't really take it off so it's very important, very important to keep that in mind. And then afterwards, uh, you, you can use like a paper towel and just remove it if there's any other excess paint, um, any paint that may have, have uh, built it up. Um, but yeah, so you just want to make sure that you, okay, and just because of, I, I know I'll break paper, just in case if we break the spoon, I'll have an extra. So this is how it should look. So you still very much should see the texture of it. Oh, and the clap. Oh, a little clap, clap, clap. Um, and just in case if you're only painting it on one side or designing it on one side, it's better to use the side that you wouldn't put like the food on or scoop the food with. Um, but I just decided to draw it on both sides because I wanted to struggle. Yes. Why did my voice sound like? Okay, anyway, we're gonna stop this. So, uh, so obviously for me, being that it's a ratatouille DIY, Rami the ratatouille. Rat of all my dreams. Okay, I just added a bit, added a little bit there. Anyway, so obviously I did the silhouette for Ratatouille that you can easily just find online, or if you just are so obsessed with the musical, you just know it off by heart. Um, and then on the other side, of course, I had to pick that iconic phrase from the movie, "Anyone can cook," which is actually very meaningful. And obviously, I did it with pencil first, and then out um, as an outline and a guide. Otherwise, if I just went straight in with marker, if I messed up, which probably I would, because knowing me, that um, it won't look as good. And we don't want that. We want our time and energy to put, put something that we would like in the end, you know? Um, also, um, I forgot to, mention, uh, to show it, but I use a thin and thick marker. Thin one to outline and thick to fill in, just for like time purposes. And that I didn't like run off with the ink. And then also, as well, as once the marker is dry and not really that wet anymore, um, it's good to erase the pencil marks, just so you can't really see them. Um, and then, yeah, so that finishes the DIY and having the wooden spoons. And I think, ooh, and I think it turned out really well. So I really hope you all liked this video. And in case if you did, feel free to comment down, down below. Maybe give it a thumbs up, because 2021, positive energy. Yes. So see y'all in the next video. I'm gonna eat. I still don't know why they turned on my application to be Gusto in Ratatouille the Musical, but whatever.